What's going on YouTube and welcome to the doghouse. Today we were lucky enough to find three Charizard Hidden Fates boxes at the local Walmart. Uh, these ones are, to me, a little fishy. So we're going to see if they're actually legit or not. They've got some, some damage, which is okay, but it's really... You guys can see this. I just can't tell if it's been resealed or not. Um, but anyways, a lot of people have been picking these up right around Black Friday. So really, I'm not that concerned about it. Uh, maybe they've just been in stock everywhere. You know, um, so hopefully that's a good sign that these weren't resealed. So either way, we do get a promo Charizard out of this, which is still pretty awesome. Let's see just real quick the condition. I know you guys have seen a thousand of these. Uh, it looks really good. Uh, these are still going for $150 to $200 PSA 10 graded. Um, so... Make sure you guys are sending yours off, but look at them really carefully because a lot of times... Oh, hold on, here's a code card. Because uh, a lot of times they're, they're pretty bad. They're either pretty off-center. They're either pretty off-center or they're pretty scuffed up. I've seen them more issues for the scuffed up on the back as in like edge whitening uh, from the, the new tins. Not as much uh, from the boxes because I think they're, they're better. They kind of just lay. They kind of just lay in the box itself. Uh, so that does help. Just gonna, I'm just going to pop all of these open real quick just to make it a little bit easier. But either way, there's still a lot of times they're off-center. But either way, they're pretty awesome GX Charizard. Uh, so hold on to them. Uh, cause, or just buy them because they're only a few dollars. You can find them you know, anywhere between 3 to $5 a pop. Uh, so I've been stacking up on them when I find a lot of lots. Because some people will liquidate them, you know, like 20 of them for 60 bucks. Uh, which I think's, you know, pretty decent deal. But maybe not. Maybe you guys are tired of Hidden Fates, and maybe you're tired of these Charizards. Uh, but to me, I'm pretty over Champion's Path, and really glad they brought this back. I still think this is one of the best, uh, the best sets, if not probably the best set, in my opinion, in the last 15 years. Uh, everybody's got their own opinion on it, but I don't know anybody who's ever said, I don't like Hidden Fates. Code card. All right, let's get into it. So Fairy Energy, which they got rid of and then they brought back. Brock's Grit, Graveler, Eevee, Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander, Pokemon Lady, and a Erica's Hospitality for the rare. So we're just going to just random grab. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to just random grab. We're going we're gonna to keep it up and see, because before before the reprint, it was, you would pretty much get guaranteed at least one shiny per box. Um, and I did get a couple of these, I don't even know, a couple, maybe a month ago. And they were not, or they were not that guaranteed shiny per box. So, kind of curious to see if that's still the, the case. Um... I mean, like I said, I still worry that these could be resealed. Just hoping for the best. Coughing, Voltorb, Eevee, and a Mew. So far, nothing. Um, let's keep getting into it. Another Charmander might be a good sign. So one of my buddies the other day pulled the Hidden Fates Charizard GX. Um, which I think is still the best looking Charizard. I do like the VMAX Charizard from Champion's Path. Uh, but I just don't think it competes. I think it looks looks cooler, maybe because it's more rare. I mean, you know, people have opened thousands of packs of Hidden Fates and not pulled one. I haven't pulled one. Just one card? Why does it feel weird? I haven't pulled one yet. And, you know, I've been chasing it for a year. But I also don't go really crazy when it comes to buying um, a new product. You know, I prefer Wizards of the Coast. Uh, I think the long term for Wizards is a lot better uh, when it comes to investment or money return. Uh, I mean, opening packs is still a gamble at the end of the day, but we all still do it. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see how terrible the, the, look at that right there. Pretty terrible. All right, let's keep going. Jinx, Misty's Determination, Brock's Pewter City, Psyduck, Charmander, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, so it should be reverse. Man, all right, well... That's a absolutely terrible box. Not even a GX. So that maybe I don't know has me a little worried on it. I mean, at the end of the day, I've still got 
three promo Charizards, but it's not what we're looking for when we open Hidden Fates. Looking for uh, any kind of shiny. Alright, let's keep going. Scyther. Jinx. Graveler. Geodude. Eevee. Clefairy. Caterpie. Ekans. Woo! Alright. We're 0 and 5. I mean, none of the packs. The packs don't seem resealed. They're, they're, I mean, they open fine, if I can actually get this one open. Uh, I don't feel like any glue or anything. But you, you guys know. Let's get it. I mean, you guys know the old, the original tins, or not the original, the second reprint tins. A lot of people were just popping it up because they were guaranteed one shiny per taking the shiny and then selling the packs. That's why if you bought packs uh, from people online, a lot of times you wouldn't get anything. I was just for that reason, because people were already pulling out the good stuff and selling the, the bad tins. Alright, so we do got a, a GX. Still not a shiny, but at least it's a pretty cool GX. Let's get you back there. So, Alright, so we're, we're on the board. Finally on the board. But yeah, so definitely be careful when you're buying Hidden Fates packs uh, loose. That's not from a reputable source. Uh, just for that reason. Um, I pretty much only buy sealed product. Like, I'm, I'm not going to buy loose. It's just not going to happen. Even when, you know, buying Wizards of the Coast, it's, it's still the same way. Expect everything. Uh, if you buy a pack, expect everything to be light, unless it's coming from, you know, that good source that tells you that, uh, or that did a box break for it. That's why they're generally at a premium. You're like, yeah, why would I pay 600 bucks for that pack when they're 400 on the market? It's because that one on the 400 on the market has probably been weighed 36 times since, uh, 1999 or whatever and this one's guaranteed unweighed from a booster box so just something to consider so, still no shinies yet last pack of this box and if this is the case if these is how bad the boxes are man i might have to leave those on the shelf for the next guy and keep the tins or keep chasing tins because uh so far well there's double we we haven't had one shiny yet out of two boxes. That's really bad. All right. Are we gonna get one out of this, guys? We'll see. Let me know if any of these code cards, if you guys use them, if any of them are used. It's a just a random question for you guys. But these were in the back. These weren't even in the front uh, of the store. Ooh, oh, we got something shiny. Ooh, okay, there we go. All right, well, I guess this will make up for it, guys. <laughs> um, so, well, definitely not resealed. I've actually not pulled any gold card out of these sets. But it's not... Let's see, it's got a, it looks like a little bit of edge whitening at the top. Let's see if I can get it to clear up. No, maybe that's just how I, I'm seeing it. Man, all right, well, I will 100% take this beautiful card. Like I said, first gold out of a uh, out of a Hidden Fates pack. I have opened up so many of these. I feel like I've pulled so many good shinies from this set. Um, I have not pulled an Umbreon. I've not pulled a Cynthia. Um, obviously, the Charizard. And I've, what else? I haven't pulled a Mewtwo yet either. So, really, I think this is actually my best pull that I've ever done from Hidden Fates. All right. So let's see if we can get a double hit to completely make up for all of this. I'm going to pause. Let's get it to... There we go. Charmeleon. Charmander. Charmeleon and Charmander from the same pack. Always a good sign. Clefairy. Coughing. Jinx. And a Raichu GX. Also a good one to get graded. I've got a decent amount of these um, at PSA and going to PSA just because it's still one of the great cards and you're still you got to look at this when you're looking at long-term profit I mean a PSA 10 for that one anywhere between 50 and 75 dollars which uh if any of these pop up for PSA as we go through um if they've been graded I'll go ahead and drop that at the bottom left which at this point in the video you guys probably already seen it uh twice since those two have been pulled so no need to even tell you that information all right All right, Scyther, Charmeleon again. 
Metapod, Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Ekans, and then a Bill. This is analysis. All right, last pack, guys. All right, and last code card for this video. So let's see it. Can we get something out of this last pack? So everybody likes to say the last pack magic. Graveler, Geodude, Cubone, Eevee, Clefairy, Psyduck, Garchomp. So there we go. So we got two shinies out of this. This one? Hold up. You guys see that? It's like a, uh, the whole card has like the shininess. It's super weird. Hold on, I've got some hidden fates set inside over here that I'm getting graded. So let me just pop one of these guys out. Well, I feel like this one has a two. But this one to me is like really pronounced. I don't know if you guys, let's look at this one. Maybe it's just how the light, yeah, maybe it's just how the light's hitting these. I didn't, I don't feel like this has how it used to be. Maybe I'm just a, uh, I don't know. Hey, it's a cool card at the end of the day. I'm, I'm happy with the Garchomp and definitely happy with old Tapu over there. But anyways, I've got four more tins that I'm going to open up in a, in a future video. So keep an eye out for that, guys. And good luck out there.